Their cries cannot be overemphasized. They have lost three members of the family in an inferno that has cutted down their house. The cause of the fire has been attributed to a candle that was left burning upon retiring to bed. Joan Mlinga, who escaped the tragedy, now explains what transpired. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kitwa City Mayor Kelvin Sinyango is saddened by the calamity. But what has happened here in, in, in Mlinga is very, very unfortunate. And as a city father, I'll make sure that uh, we, we, we mourn together. This is why we've said it. In order to assist the government in mitigating this, we make sure that uh, we provide the, 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 the food stuff that will be use, used in the, in the funeral and we'll make sure that uh, we, we even provide the, 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 the tent and uh, the three coffins that are, that are needed. On Sunday, 13th July 2014, around 23 hours, a mother and her two children in Molenga compound were burnt to death while sleeping after they left a candle burning. The bodies of the deceased are lying in Kito Central Hospital mortuary awaiting burial. Natasha Chimba Mwinga, Movie TV News. In Kitwe.